Hey folks, this is Matt Kramer again, and I now have <clears throat> I verify my email with Art. I guess that that was the step that was missing. I'm not sure, but now I have access to the game. So let me share my screen. And as you can see, we got the cryptic logo finally. They have this new um, update called Reflections. I said in the last video uh, pertaining to the analytics report, the long analytics report, that I'm, I am not a fan of the Mirror Universe um, that was heavily involved during, a, during Deep Space Nine. Um, and Next Generation didn't really do a mirror universe. I don't think Voyager did either. Um, Discovery did with uh, Lorca. I know that. Enterprise, I think so, once that I know of. Okay. So this is the new stuff. Um, I can now share sound. Yes, share sound. Okay. So I'm now sharing the sound of the game. And this is NVIDIA physics. That's interesting. Viacom, that's been around for ages. Perfect world and, of course, cryptic. Cool graphic. I like this graphic. It's got some data pads there, a knife, and a phaser. Uh, submit, yes. All right, here we go. So we got the Clean on Defense Force again. We got Discovery Starfleet, Dominion, uh, the original series Starfleet, the Roman Republic, and of course, Starfleet itself. So we're going to do Starfleet. Let me turn off the music. Uh, actually, I can turn off the music. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the sound. Until for until further notice. Okay. Um, human, yes, male, yes. Hey, oh, I can hear, but you guys cannot. Okay, um, that's good. Okay, there we go. Next, we usually do tactical first. Come oh, on, um, should not be feeling this. Oh, 
Oh, for heaven's sake, come on. Yeah. Okay, this will be can't tab us. Can't tab on this. It sucks. Should be able to tab. The U.S. is Stewart. Uh, the U.S. is Washington. Engage. Okay. I'm sure the um, graduation day tutorial stuff, I'm sure that's going to remain the same. Whoa. Okay, we've seen that. Okay, um, before we do anything else, shut up. Okay, I know all these tutorials. What I want to do first is I want to um, audio. I want to FX volume, turn down music volume.
notifications. Well, <clears throat> okay, so everything's pretty much up. Okay. Okay. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? So reminder, this is building one. And this is where we get, when we get to that level, which is level 11, I believe still. Unless it changed. Yeah, it's still level 11. Um, I can, I can. Access duty officers, but I won't get the system itself until level 15. Okay. But this is where you get the Vulcan uh, exchange officers here. I haven't received my assignment yet. Roski said you had something to something to tell me. Peace and long life. No, <laughs> kidding. Thanks. Okay, this is Lieutenant Farah. Uh, when you reach level 11, or actually, actually, I think it's the level 15, you come here and you get your first wave of duty officers at level 15 not level 11 but level 15 why they haven't changed that here i don't know they should have but let's talk to lieutenant farah is this where i get my training cruise assignment cadet kramer Is there a problem? I right, sir. Uh, total total Picard thing. Um, can I? I thought I can.
Oh, there you go. Um, I want to rearrange my hook. Can I? Compass. Oh, yeah. I can hide my compass. Show, hide. Hide. Level and rank indicator. Okay. Okay. Hide boosts. Okay. There we go. You have to see me, sir. Thank you, Captain. I know that program is advised for tactical officer, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. Or I can say many of my classmates didn't take the pass test either, Captain. Is that an issue? Oh, no, no, first one. Did you say senior staff, sir? Your tactical officer, sir. Who is that? Yes, sir. All right, get in Ms. Flores. I believe she's near. Ah, there she is. Captain Tiger says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phase of training first. Now you tell me. Well, either way. Oh, man, come on, Flores. I need, I'll need a phaser. Let's go. I still have this problem, too.
Why don't we? Oh. Yeah, we don't need melee for that. <clears throat> Thank you, Captain. Do you have an, ass an assignment for me now? First officer, sir. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. But I think you should you should just start referring to me referring to me as sir. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Flores. I mean, very fine. Cadet. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not, we're not sharing sound, are we? Are we sharing sound? Hold on. No, we're not. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, if you've seen if you've seen the first video, you know what their dialogue is, and you can read it too. <clears throat> we're going to the shuttle bay. Okay, all of the. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment call. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. Mm. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Everyone's everyone's attention. We are the senior staff of the USS Washington. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand. And we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You are the best the Academy has, and together we can do anything. All I ask of, is that we support one another. If we can work as a team and accomplish our goals. Starfleet Academy, did the US is watching. Class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, 
average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. It's a mess. Where's the captain, please? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Thank you. Number one. Number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. <clears throat> but first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Javel. Get clearance, clearance from traffic control from Washington to lead to the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Flores, send a signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor. Potter, 
Take us out. One quarter impulse. That line was from Star Trek Six. Didn't I don't think we need to repeat that here. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the Breakeven. Can you hear me? So our work is failing? We could really use some help. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, Zetas can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. I don't like that he has to get up to do this. You heard the distress call, number one? What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the drink cruise? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? We need more information before we get in there. I recommend scanning for an hour to see exactly what the situation is, uh, not an hour. Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. I recommend we go to red alert. Full power to weapons and hopefully no, that's too that's too hard. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Speed. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS chart. Rock, I'm in. What happened? Rock. Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. The Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag us out. Yes, sir. Now you're gonna EV shoot automatically? 
that's strange. It's definitely new.
at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky! It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Kick out, daughter! Make me proud! We have target lock, Captain. Fire. Trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive and remember. Tutorial complete. Or almost. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Travel, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Keep trying. Eliza, what's the status of that in your ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break even? Hail them. Hailing the break even now, Captain. SS break even. This is Starfleet vessel USS Washington. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. 
You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. That's what we can do. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Zarva, do you have a damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any ideas? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Take it through scraps we've left behind. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter Oh, and... that's good. But remember the Cleons who want us dead? I need you to work fast. You have your problems. I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one <laughs> diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> Eliza, give me, give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp core. But until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in the system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. jamming satellites left. I haven't forgotten about you. Think you 
your ship can take a couple more minutes. Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Send it. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Do it. We need to find him before he ambushes us again. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. We have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve. I can make your death swift! Multiple birds of prey decloaking. Time to get the plasma injected. Sure enough to break the channels. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Cleon Marauders. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. And you're the acting captain. I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Cleon who killed Captain Taggart, sir? Cadet is still out there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. Okay, so I get 6,000 experience points, 720 expertise, hyper impulse engines, Mark 1, uh, phaser beam array, Mark 1, 
If it's a split beam rifle, I'll give it to someone else. Uh, and, uh, and I got Zerva. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Good. So of course we Okay. Let's check on something. Okay, so I believe the tutorial is pretty much over. So I'm going to end it here and we will continue this next time. Right. We will continue the game next time. Uh, this was the first mission of, again, this is the tutorial mission for Sergeant Online Federation Faction. And I will be doing, I will be creating a new playlist for this um, gameplay, a new playlist on YouTube. So this will be Star Trek Online 2022. So look for that on my YouTube page. And uh, thank you for viewing this video.